Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. All right, so this week, again, I worked a lot, so it's kind of going to be a short one, but for Totally Hooked, I don't have anything done. Um, I am, however, down to, I believe, my last row. Well, last row and a half um, on this virus shawl and it's huge which is what I want the only thing that um, I'm not too whoopy about is the fact that the two grays it, it doesn't show as much as I thought it would it does great in the afghan that I did because they're not right next to each other these I put right next to each other because I thought it would just be a progression of darkness so it is what it is um with that I still have um only got a row and a half to go and remember I've made a whole sampler out of that stuff and I still have these three skeins and a ball and if I have any of that steel left so um the Annie's thing definitely gives you a lot of yarn so that is kind of in the basket but almost totally hooked so it is what it is um all right on the wheel everybody knows that at fiber christmas it was virtual and i bought from a shop that i've never bought from before and um i got my two fibers in and it's called divine fibers this is one that I got and I left it intact so that you could see the packaging um, it just has an item number is this hand carded spinning bat um, approximately 100 grams it comes and each one has like it's beads and I'll show you here um, and here in a minute I'll get into the what I liked and what I didn't like about the bat so she's or she or he or somebody has got them all wrapped you know this is the front and the back and you get quite a few little beads if you want to spin beads on there um so anybody that knows me know i prefer straight fibers buying this online it does not show the stuff that's in there and all of her tags read the same it says at least 80 percent wool um, may contain silk, mohair, rayon, cotton, angora, and acrylic fibers. Um, miscellaneous beads and charms also included. Um, it says fiber content of each bundle is similar throughout. However, due to the nature of the carding process, some variation uh, between bats can be expected. Uh, handcrafted in the U.S. by fibers fibers of unknown origin okay so the one thing that I didn't like is when she says it may contain cotton angora and acrylic fibers I automatically went to straight fiber I went to um, cotton you know we've grown our own cotton before I love carding in some cotton um, silk you know that I had silkworms and I have actually just bought silk I don't like to do it from the worm it's too big of a process so I had all these things that I had envisioned and I can I thought it meant a smooth bat now it did not um, I pulled all of these out because I don't like this in my bat now, if you like this and it's an artsy kind of thing you want to do, that's fine. Um, definitely do it. But in this bat, there are pieces of cotton yarn. Um, here's some pink cotton yarn. Pre-spun. Um, there's some of this. Uh, it's like a, a silver metallic thread in here. There is this stuff and I'm not even sure what to call this but um yeah anybody that knows me knows I don't go for 
artsy type bats like this and there is quite a large amount and this isn't even all of it I pulled some out this is just what I saved I pulled some of it out as I did it so if you like that kind of bat this spun wonderful um it I actually have it oh I've got to go get it time out okay I'm back sorry <laughs> um I actually forgot the wool um so it spun up really good the wool is I don't know that I can um it's very grippy so, it's not what I consider next to skin soft but it is soft okay remember that I'm right here real sensitive and my hands but this spun up beautifully um, and it's got a little bit of everything in it and you can see that I didn't pick out all the little ooh, I'm losing it, blue bobbles or whatever but I don't like that kind of yarn so I made this as close to me as I can now I will say um, the tag is not wrong but it would have been better if this had said art bat because an art bat you expect this kind of stuff in um, this just says hand carded spinning bat which is fine it does spin but an art bat is what you expect that stuff to be in whereas a spinning bat you expect it to be all fibers now she has very cutely put these together and um let me grab my scissors here i left whoop, i left one together so that you could actually see me cut the tag because it's really cute the way she's done it um and i don't know if there is as much art fiber in here as the other one so we're going to find out this is a red i don't know if you can try to put some white to contrast. there we go it's kind of reds and yellows the pictures didn't exactly look like these um when i got them if this had looked this yellow i probably wouldn't have purchased it um but it may work up to be like a brown so she's got them done in sections when you unroll the first section you can pull this off see there's a small little bat and then you unroll this and there's another little bat and then you unroll this and you have one that was sticking out of the top so that it could be felt um again this one i can see it right now there are fibers in here that i'm going to pull out um i won't be spinning that um sorry we're having bad weather here so if that's rj you know i'm going to answer him real quick um so it is not so it's something that can wait but oh and it's pink kind of based on the inside the one that was blue that looked bluish on the outside was actually whiter on the inside so this one's pink i wish she'd have put more pictures of each bat up you know maybe a front and a back but i will be pulling out all of this in order to spin it i i don't like that if this had said art bat i would not have purchased it just because it's my taste okay but i'll just do it like i did the last one look here when you pull that out that's some kind of cottony yarn and i don't want that spun in there so um and like i said this is the quantity plus what i pulled out when i was spinning so there's quite a bit of artsy stuff in this spinning bat so um here's just another piece uh but if you like that stuff hey if you're into making artsy type yarns that's great there's you can see a little uh, glitz i don't know what she's used but i can see some kind of glitter 
shimmery, let's put it that way. Um, I will be spinning these up. I just, not real happy with it, but it's not her fault. I think it's mine, and I've not bought online, and I have not bought from this producer before. So, yeah, and she does include, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but this one, it's the red with the yellow and all that. It's got all that on there for beads, and it, the beads continue on the inside. So you've got quite a few beads and baubles to produce whatever you want with it. Um, it spins smooth. It's grippy. It's got crimp. It's it's a nice fiber. The part that's wool, but I, like I said, don't really care for all the artsy stuff that was in the bat. Um, pictures online don't do that justice and like I said if I'd have seen them I wouldn't have bought those um, I'm not saying that all her bats are that way again this is from uh, spell bound spell spun yarns um, it's out of Kansas City and it was from the virtual winter wool fest I'm not saying all of her bats are like this. This just says hand carded spinning bats. I really, really wish. And, and the tags read the exact same words. The only difference on the tags is item number. I got 8006 and 8018. So they're not named, which I get that. When you do individuals, I don't name all mine either. But... It definitely, with that amount of other stuff in there, I really feel in my heart that it should have said an art bat because I wouldn't have bought that. Um, is it a bad thing? Nope. Did I end up with something I can use? Yep. Will I? I don't know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, those that was on the wheel. This will go on the wheel. Um, the reddish one will go on the wheel. I spun that on... Miss Kitty, she's my uh, traveler, my Ashford traveler, and um, yeah, I still have the mohair on the kiwi, so I didn't spin it on that, but other than that, we are, RJ's not going anywhere, nobody's going anywhere, I've been working, and it is iced in today, so even roommate didn't go to work, so we're really not doing a whole lot, um, I think I pulled... I got off Thursday, I had Friday off, and then I worked Saturday, Sunday, today's Monday, and I have to go to work tomorrow. So, yeah, I've pulled, I don't know how many hours right now. So, it is what it is. This is kind of short and sweet. I do recommend that these um, Annie's Attic, the block of the month kit is the one that I did that I have all this extra yarn for. And I finished that shawl and still have three skeins plus a little ball and if I have any of this steel left from it so I've made a complete shawl with a couple extra rows um, and I made the block of the month afghan and I still have this so um, I did sign up for Maxine's um, crochet of the month club I'll let you know how that goes um, I'll let you in on on what they send me and what they do and we'll go from there so all right I'm going to get off here and get this uploaded, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.